beautiful people welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome 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 if this is the first time you're ever seeing my face do not forget to hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time that i post in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create your very own vision board along with taking you guys with me as i create my own I cannot believe that 2019 is actually over. And despite the emotional roller coaster that it was, I was able to accomplish a lot of goals that I've set for myself. So this is my second time creating my vision board, um, obviously for the upcoming year. And when I tell you that for me personally, the vision board actually worked, it really did. And if you guys want, you guys can definitely do research. And I'll also be linking some videos down below that I've watched kind of to get an understanding of what a vision board is actually supposed to do and all about the law of attraction and manifesting your goals. But pretty much a vision board is just like you see your goals and you work, you do the action that is required to attain those goals. And the most important part about a vision board is having it in a place where you can see it and kind of remind you of your goals that you set for yourself and just keep going and doing whatever it is that you guys do. Before I go into my 2020 vision board, I wanted to share with you guys my 2019 vision board and kind of what goals came true and what goals are kind of going to be overlapping for 2020. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys, so this right here is my 2019 vision board, and I am super happy with how this one came out last year. Um, being that this was my first vision board, I kind of wanted to just do it like a collage. Um, there's not really like a structure here. I just put my goals on the board and made sure that it all fit. So I have this girl right here with a lovely afro because I wanted to work towards like taking care of my hair. And I personally feel like I did that. Um, I'm going to put like the before and after of like my afro and you guys are going to be like, oh girl, your hair done did a whole 180. Um, I got clear skin here because I've been working on my skincare this year and my skin has also gotten better. There's still some things I want to improve along with just like other fun things like, you know, going to Coney Island for the first time, going back home to the Dominican Republic, visiting my co my cousin, my friend in Texas, you know, getting my own MacBook, getting AirPods. Those are like just materialistic things. Working on my blog, which is still on the come up, but I started my YouTube channel this year. And although that wasn't the vision that I was going for, it happened and I'm happy that it did. And you know, you know, stack up the coins. I paid off a few credit cards and yeah, you know, so right now there's gonna be a few goals that are gonna overlap. Like this license thing here, please. <sighs> Being from New York in the city, it's so hard for me to have motivation to get my license because it's like, I'm not gonna really need it if I work in the city, but I'm gonna get it just so that way I can have more things to do when I'm outside of the city because pretty much New York City is kind of the main city where you don't need a car. But everywhere else that I've gone, it's like you need a car and whatever. Um, but yeah, so this is my 2019 vision board. And now let's get into 2020. Okay, you guys, so when making your vision board, the materials that you're gonna need is a poster board, scissors to cut your images, whether it's from magazines or anything that you print out, glue stick to glue it onto your poster board, and the frame is optional if you'd like to frame it to hang it up. Sometimes people like to put their images just on a plain wall, so you might not even need all of these things aside from maybe tape and scissors, um, but these are just the materials that I use to create my vision board. So the first step in creating your vision board is going to be to brainstorm your goals. So you can do it either writing it out, doing it on your iPhone and your notes or anything like that, just so that way you can have an idea of what your goals are and having it written out also helps you kind of see the vision that you want to set for yourself, whether it is family related, entrepreneurship related, socially related, you know, targeting debt, traveling the world, 
whatever your goals happen to be, you write them down and kind of just see what you see in store for your new year. Another thing to note with brainstorming your goals is kind of make it as realistic as possible where you know that you can put in the work to make those goals attainable. Now with making vision boards, it is highly, highly important that you are as specific as you can be when it comes down to numbers, colors, and so forth. So for example, if there's like a specific car that you want, you would have to state the model, the brand name, the year of the car, the color of the car, and so forth and so forth, and get as specific as you want with the car. Um, for me personally, I'm not seeking a car, but in regards to numbers, I would love to hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe. <laughs> um, I would love to hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So I will be putting that on my vision board and making sure that the number 1000 subscribers is reflected on my board. So the second step in creating your vision board is to get images that reflect those goals that you just finished brainstorming. So I personally went on Pinterest and created a 2020 pin board. And for those that don't know, Pinterest is kind of like a ginormous interweb inspirational like board goals kind of thing um i love the app and if y'all love the app too give this video a big old thumbs up because i don't know i love pinterest it just keeps me inspired it keeps me motivated it makes me want to like probably do a whole lot of things but that's not the point of the video um <clears throat> so i created my 2020 vision board on pinterest and kind of screenshotted those photos and brought them over into microsoft word so like i've mentioned before um in regards to having specific numbers you can also use canva to digitally modify your photos so like i mentioned before in regards to my thousand subscribers i would get a screenshot of my channel and kind of change change the numbers so that it reflects 1,000 subscribers instead of my current subscribe count. So yeah, the more specific, the higher chance of attaining the goals. Um, if that's not an option that you guys want or have, you guys can always go the classic way like getting a magazine. Normally I use the magazine as like my final, final thing if I kind of have gaps in my vision board to just fill it up and make it just look <laughs> um, but that's also another thing that you guys can do um you guys can always check your local libraries or if you guys are in college i'm pretty sure college libraries have a lot of magazines that they're throwing away or anything like that or thrift stores or anything like that so that way you guys don't have to go out and buy brand new magazines for this now with the images comes cutting them up so after printing out all of the photos i'll go about cutting out those images and kind of having them all ready to build the vision board. After having all your photos and all that good stuff, the next step is to assemble them. So I personally do not have a specific way of assembling them. I do try to map them with like all my fitness goals in one corner, all my fashion um, goals in one corner, career, finance, whatever, whatever. But I also want it to look aesthetically pleasing and make sure that everything fits where it's supposed to. I just think that the most important thing is to have all of your goals on the board where you can see them. And so you place it however it is that you want to. And I do like to set it up before gluing it down just to see if I like the way it looks. And after all that good stuff, I put it all together. <laughs> everything together, gluing everything, rearranging things, I finally finished my vision board and put it in its frame and I am so happy with the way it came out and I'm ready to show you guys my vision board. <laughs> so so happy i don't know if you guys were able to catch a few glimpses of my vision board um in this clip before but i have things on here ranging from sneakers that i want better equipment so i can be um providing you guys with better quality content as in like getting a vlogging camera a better ring light setup 
another thing is kind of like getting a new home and I have like a few like home layouts interior designs that I want and kind of just saving money but that is the premise of my 2020 vision board now the last thing that you want to do with your vision board is hang it up and put it in a place that you will always see it so if it's by your door if it's by like you know a tv or your mirror or you know next to your bed wherever it is that you're going to see it the more that you see your vision board the more you're going to want to work harder towards those goals that you set for yourself and that's kind of what kickstarts the law of attraction and that's kind of what a vision board is for you know your mind sees um these goals and they symbolize things for you and then your mind will do whatever it takes to attain those goals for you now there's certain things that may not happen in 2020 and that is okay but as long as you know that you try to work towards those goals that's all that matters the serve as a reminder and then just let the universe do its thing but remember just stay positive trust the process and all that good stuff so that is where i'll be closing out the video thank you guys so much if you made it this far don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time that i post i am so grateful for everybody that is subscribed to my channel right now i can't wait for 2020 i have so much things planned for you guys i want to wish all of you guys a happy new year and i can't wait to see you guys in 2020 so now i'm gonna peace and i'll see you guys in the new year